The difference between Nigeria and abroad is packaging. All we need is to package ourselves. That is why I tell people, Nigeria can never carry World Cup. Do you know why? Because we don't support our local league. If you watch foreign leagues, check the names of their clubs. Real Madrid, Baka, Man City. The name sweet, even would they call our children the names of those clubs. Would they even they call our children Baka, Man U. But check the names of our Nigerian teams. Warrior Wolves. Ekanami Warrior. Sharks of Patakot. Imagine now you born picking on the call and worry wolves. He picking over the behave well. The whites have made football to be very lovely. Even when you hear their commentary, go the sweet you did your back, touch that thing. You go hear sweet voice. Ladies and gentlemen, it's March Day 23, brought to you live by Salvation Ministry. PlayStation 3 is a 433 formation. Today's match is going to be very hectic. Real Madrid FC going on with Barcelona. Lionel Messi has scored 500 goals. The most expensive player. He will ask his neighbor, Tommy Tani, what do you think? Well, if you look at the players, they look very good. Today's match is going to be very lovely. It's 45 minutes watch on the match. DJ Easy, you go to Arab. You hear Assalamu Alaikum Alam Drahim Ajazira Walaba Halaba Halaba Him. Allah Wakbar Eto Walhalaba Hilabala Allah Wakbar Allah Wakbar Deko Eto with Halaba Allah Wa Halaba 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 Him DJ relax Imagine say they use this anthem for Nigerian League DJ play Igo ya ladies and gentlemen this is the match between Rangers Football Club of Enugu and Eimba Football Club of Aba Whenever they play they remind me of the Afran War the last time they play, five people die. I wonder how many people will die in today's match. Uh, Paul Ogazi, what do you think? Uh, if you look at the players, they don't look happy. How can they be happy? The governor have not paid them. How can somebody be playing football and the governor have not paid? DJ, break it. I don't have time. Daddy, the problem we have in Nigeria are motivational speakers. They have put us in problem. My friend is stranded in Pataka today because he went for a seminar. Say seminar. Somebody told him, leave your comfort zone. The guy, they suffer for Pataka. That is why I want to advise you. Any day you do Pataka, somebody say, let's go for a seminar. My brother asks. Now network marketing. Those people shall be talk. You could just see somebody come out and say, how many streams of income do you have? He said, look at me. I have four streams. The guy asked me, what about you? I said, bros, now one I still hope. He said, look at me. Last month, I made 10 million. I said, oh, God, how? He said, very simple. Can you talk? I said, oh, God, I'm a comedian. He said, all you need to do is to bring two people. Turn to your neighbor and say, two people. <laughs> Any day you hear two people, not say your neighbor, not be people. <laughs> Daddy, I brought my house rent, 1.5 million. Register with this company for Philippines. They gave me drugs worth 1.5 million. See, today they look for two people. My house became chemist. When people come to my house, I say, my brother, I don't have malt. Will you take omega-4 syrup? He don't burn. So today they call me from hospital. Hello? Pharmacist Francis, do you have augmenting? I want to say, Daddy, our mothers did not suffer. Life was easy for them. Those days, our parents will get married. They will send ourselves from the village. Loyal guests, 20 years. But now in my generation, they call them nannies. There is nothing you will do to satisfy these nannies. Some will collect 10,015. I changed six nannies in one month. My first nanny, any night I come home, she'll speak one English. Welcome, daddies. I said, now, wow, this person, they call me two people, though. I say, if this one is speaking wrong English in my front, what will happen to my children? I say, no, this one needs to do what? Go. We brought another one. My wife gave her an instruction. He said, anything I buy from the market, put it in the fridge. My wife, go market. Me, I say, man, go buy food. Come watch ball. By the time I went to my kitchen, if you see the things I saw in my kitchen, 
in my fridge, I saw palm oil. I saw detergent. I saw my wife with one. Even the foil I buy, I see her for fridge. I said, no, this one needs to do what? I brought another one, very hard working, but I did not know we were living with a mad woman. She will clean my house, clean my neighbor's house, sweep our street. Three o'clock in the morning, she will knock on the door. Bye, bye, bye. My wife will ask, who are you? Auntie Omoa. Is that go parlor? Yes, ma. Have you cleaned the room? Yes, ma. What is the meaning? Just to bath you and Oga. Eh? When I hear that one, say, my nanny won't bath me and my wife. I say, no, this one needs to do what? I called my wife. I said, I am tired of all these young girls that will need a mature nanny. Somebody say mature nanny. And daddy, we went and brought a 65-year-old nanny. People of God, that was where my problem became. I became an errand boy in my house. My nanny will call me, Uwam, you got in Miriam. Don't give me cold water. Oh. One day I came home, I saw my wife washing plates. I saw what happened. He said, Mama, say anybody wake up for this house, go wash plate. One day I was in the parlor watching a movie with my wife. Around nine o'clock, Mama came into the parlor and said, Everybody go and sleep. Tomorrow is school. See, eh? <laughs> a round of applause yourselves. You can never call a woman once and she will pick her phone. You must call them 20 times. And when you call them 20 times, you say, is it not once that you called me? I will not blame them. See, men, you call us, our phone goes just there inside our bag, pocket. But any day you see a woman, we carry this kind of bag. You will call her for 50 times. As you are calling her, hey, where is my phone? No. It's my phone. Hey. Where is my phone? No. Where is my phone? No. 